Two weeks ago, we sent this away, we sent that away and a few other things and now we have it back with heaps and heaps of parts. So this has all been machined and bored out. And from factory, these, I'm pretty sure are an 86 mil bore. Don't Dom, 86 mil bore. Yeah, so we've actually bored this out to an 87 mil. Right. So I've got 87 mil pistons, uh, but I've actually got an 87.5 mil head gasket. Oh, so we're doing, doing some work on it tonight. We've got a few people around to, uh, to give us a hand and to, you know, to oh, oh, and see what's going on. Yes. But, so we've got, we've got Marley, we're going with Marley pistons, ARP main studs and head studs with it too. Um, we've gone, these rods are called scat, scat rods. Um, so they're HB, yeah, it's all been um, acid Not, cleaned and everything. Yeah. Like it's crazy how clean this is compared to when I first sent it off. Yeah. Um, like every, it, it's like even the head. Like this is, it's yeah, just, it, it's fun. it's so clean. Before they were so carboned up, and like it was like chunks of carbon in each chamber, and like it, it, it's so smooth now. Yeah. So we've got Kilford cams as well, like adjustable gears. These guys are in New Zealand. So these cams are VCT delete. Yeah. And so I've gone. That's better because you can go a heaps bigger cam. Yeah. So these are a 266 intake cam, 278 exhaust cam. That's ridiculous. What kind of duration? What kind of? So that's the spec sheet length. there. Um, intake is intake 9.2 mils. Yeah. And same with the exhaust. So I'm going from 9.2 to what? 11. 11. Yeah, 11 mil lift. Yeah. Basically everything is brand new in the head. New valve stem seals, new valve guides, mm. titanium springs and retainers. They're all made by Kel Kel Kelfords as well. Yeah. Um, so the cams are in it currently because he clearance everything for me anyway. So basically, he's done all the hard work for me. I've just got to put everything together and talk it all up basically. So um, yeah, it should be good. I've got a um, bottom end seal gasket, seal seal set, all that kind of shit. Yeah. Um, MLS head gasket, so these pistons by Marley. Yeah, but you don't know till we chuck them in though. Don't know until we chuck them in, but previous forum posts from 2008 mm -hmm. say because of the unique shape of the skirt on these, how they go inwards mm -hmm. towards the center, so that's kind of good to reinforce the center of the piston. Apparently, the oil squirter actually fucking bottoms out on the edge of it. Oh, so, fingers crossed, we got clearance. But these oil squirters have dowels mm. in there which hold them in so you can't actually change the angle. So the only thing we can do is either cut the, the dowel off and change the angle or I, uh, I spoke to Kelvin and he said that we can just make a notch in the piston. Yeah, that's, that's the thing is, is I just don't days. really want to be doing burnouts in the car. Wait, you know, give it like I, I know as much as you think I want to, I really don't. I know you do. Everyone says that. Everyone says that. I just do what gets a real drunk car. I won't do skids. I just did it to shut you up. Skid That thing there? No, I'll never slide it. Fucking on the brakes like a champ. What kind of power are we going for here, Tom? 400, 300 kilowatts at the wheels. That would be very sexual indeed. At the wheels, but I won't be able to put it down because what this traction, I've never had it before. No, it's just run 165 space stages everywhere. Makes up first, second, third, fourth, then fifth. No, I was just, uh, I was just saying, oh, I'm gonna edit this out because I can hear you in the background saying, oh, I was smoking cigarettes in my ute. No one saw me. Just smoking dark in my ute. Sure, smoking dark, smoking dark in my ute. In me ute, not my ute. Just beside me ute. I'll probably leave that in the video, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fresh day, got a fresh mind. Uh, we're gonna start working on the SR again as per usual. It's actually five o'clock in the afternoon. So this little dowel here actually holds these squares in one position and one position only. So you can't adjust the angle of how they sit. 
so I may have to cut this off and reposition it so it doesn't bottom out and bottom of the piston but we have to assemble it first to see if it does or not um, but yeah there's a little hole there if the camera can pick it up but yeah so that's how they sit so I thought I'd better check uh, the ring end gap on the piston rings today before I go any further um, I should have done it last night but uh, I was reading the uh, manual that comes with uh, the piston rings and they actually state they say drop in ring sets typically require no adjustment to end gaps but Marley recommends that the rings be checked for minimum end gap. Okay, so you get the ball in inches and you multiply it by 45 thou, and that gives you the minimum end gap for that top piston ring. Piston. Guess if you just sit it in there, sit on top of the ring, and give it a bit of a turn. Even pressure, and it should be square. So we've just installed the second piston ring and we've calculated that the minimum end gap for this is 12 thou. There's 12 thou. What we'll do is just be able to see the ring gap on the camera because it's so bright this torch. But that fits in perfect. 